Okay. Our lesson for today, our topic for today is the basic calculator techniques for easy computation. Uh, this is some, uh, this is the compilation of some basic calculator techniques for some basic problems. Uh, but first, but before we go to the problem proper, problem solving technique proper, I would like you to, I would like you to learn about, I would like you to teach uh, three important functions in calculator. And the first important function is how to store data or answers. Now it's very, now it's very much important for us to store data, especially those data involving uh, conversions or involving different numbers that has different decimal places. Because uh, if we round off, uh, if we round off the answer on the nearest tens or the nearest full number, the final answer would be very different to the true value. So it's very important to learn this calculator function on how to store data and answers. So how to store data and answers? Like for example, if you are given a equation or a simple mathematical arithmetic, 1, 4, 3 plus 23 equals 166. And you want to store this 166 in the calculator. All you have to do is to, since you have your equation, 143 plus 23 equals 166, you have to click equals. And then after you click equals, let's try to store by using, by pressing shift, then pressing RCL, which is store. And then after you press store, you have to select uh, letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after you select A, let's say for example A, you have to press equal button. Then let's see if the data is stored. Let's close the calculator. And then when we turn on, we extract the value we store alpha A and the store value is 166. That is the easy, uh, that is the way of storing data. Next, how to solve basic equations. When you say how to solve basic equations, this is what we call shift solve. When you say shift solve, for example, you are given an equation uh, like, like for example, f equals ma. And you say f equals ma, there is a force and there is a Mass and acceleration. Since the problem given, since the problem given is force and its acceleration, you have to find its mass. Let's say, for example, its force is fifty. You have to put al you have to press alpha, and then you have to press cal for us to to show the equal sign. Then force equals m a. M a is your required. So we need to find the M. So M denotes X. Then multiply by your A, which is, let's say, for example, 9.81 meter per second squared. Then the value of your M, you have to press shift and calc. Solve for X in equals. Then the answer is 5.026382959. Then you want to store it again. How to store? Since you press equal, you need to you need then you need to press shift, then store, then your the same for example. I want to use B. Let's press B and then equals to check if if the data is stored in B, alpha B equals. Since it is uh, shown in fractional form, you need to press this SD to convert fractional form into 
decimal form. And that's it. Next is how to reset your calculator. Uh, it's very more, it's very important also to reset your calculator because when you store so many data, it tends the calculator to be slow in function, to be slow in computation. So we have to reset your uh, the your calculator to able to reset all the data in stored. So since we installed Alpha A, the answer a while ago, and then Alpha B, the answer a while ago, we have to reset your calculator by pressing Shift, then press 9, clear, clear. Clear setup, clear memory, or clear all. When you're setting, you have to press 3 for clear all. Select all, yes equals, AC cancel. You must press the equal button. And that's it. You need to press AC. So let's say let's say uh, let's see if this value stored in A is here. If if there is no, that means the calculator is reset. There is none. No data stored in alpha A. Let's try alpha B. There is none there. Okay. That is the three important functions in calculator. Next. Let's go to the sample problems. Sample problem one: Find the twentieth term in the eight p. If the in the uh, arithmetic progression, if the fourth term is eight and the tenth term is twenty nine. Now, here, if you are talking about uh, arithmetic progression or geometric progression, it is the stat. So all you have to do is to find the calculator where is stat by simply pressing mode. Then you have options: comp Complex, stat, base, equation, matrix, table, vector. Now, since the arithmetic progression falls on statistics, we have to, to select three. Then, there are another options. The, um, then, the arithmetic progression is number two, and then your geometric progression is number, uh, your geometric progression is number five. So all we have to press is two. So we show here the x and y values. Now find the twentieth term in the arithmetic progression if the fourth term. When we say fourth term, fourth term stands for x, and its value eight is its y. Uh, it stands for y. So therefore, if its fourth term is eight, let's press equal. Then you have to press eight here, and and the tenth term. And the 10th term is 29. So you have to press 10 and 29. Now, the question is to find the 20th term in the AP. Since we have already given 4th term and the 10th term, now we have to find the 20th term. Now, for, for we to be able to find the 20th term, we have to input the data. And after we input the data, we need to press AC. And, after we need to, and then after we press AC, we have to press shift, then we have to press start, which is one. Then there is another, I'm sorry. And there is another options, type, sum, range, data, variable, min, max. All you have to do is to press five, which is red, reg, and then uh, the data uh, y, which stands for the the value of y, of y since we give we are given on the value of x which is the 20th term we have to put i then after that we have to move the cursor on the left side for us to have the 20th term since we imagine that this value is x and this value is y so to find the 20th term is equal to 64 and that is the 20th term of the arithmetic progression and that is the 20th term of the arithmetic progression. Okay, next problem. Now, if the third term of, G, of geometric progression is 20 and the sixth term is 160, what is the first term? Now, again, we have to press AC, go back, then mode, and then start all okay, again, and then geometric progression. So, geometric progression is number five. It's number five, we have given X and Y table. Now for the x, it's it's easy. 
it's already the same like on the arithmetic progression we have to put third term as value for x and 20 as the value of y then we have to put six term as the value of x and we put 160 as the value of y so now the question is what is the first term so we need to press ac we need to press shift and then start and then reg and then same again number five since we have to look for the value of y and the given is what's the first term so all we have to do is to press one and then we equal the answer is five next the complex expression now since we already finished and start we go to another function of the calculator which is complex in say complex let's go to mode and then we see number two as complex we press two for the complex now the complex expression r theta equals 4 and 120 degree is equal to now for us to know if oh for us to know if what is the equivalent of 4 and 120 theta we have to make a uh, a com a complex but before uh, but we, but here in the complex it's very difficult to put a value for 4 and 120 degrees since it is a normal number not a complex so all we have to do is to go back to the com then we put we press shift we press ball so after rec sorry after we, we press rec which is rectangular we put we input four then we try to input the comma by pressing shift and then comma then 120 and then we press the parentheses we then we press equal then as you can see the answer is 2, the value of x is 2, and the value of y is 3.5. Since it is negative 2 and positive 3.5i. I, 3.5i. Mode 2. For us to, uh, to have the value of i, we go back to complex and we repeat the equation the for the the process shift red c. see if we put complex here we cannot uh, we cannot do the function of break so it's uh, no choice but to go back to comp and then we put again four then 120 then sorry then parenthesis and since it is complex it's very understandable that it has a imaginary i so two, negative 2 and 3.5 i next what is the product of a minus uh, 8 minus 10 i and 6 plus 4 i in the complex form now here in the complex form we go to the mode 2 and then we simply type all the uh, given 8 minus 10 i we also need to press i parenthesis times or it's okay not to in, not to input x it's okay like this or and it's okay like that like this A 6 plus 4 i equals 88 minus 28 i okay next Find the value of 1 plus i is the fifth, where i is an imaginary number. Now, as you can see here, if we type 1 plus 5 i raised to 5, the calculator cannot solve the equation. So all we have to do is to break down its exponential value. Uh, property of exponent. Uh, combined terms when we multiply we have when we multiply combined ter uh, like terms its exponent is addition okay 
So therefore, uh, sorry, if we combine like terms, the exponent will add. Okay? So 1 plus 5i equals 3. Since 1 plus 5i raised to 2 times 1 plus 5i raised to 3 is equal to 1 plus i raised to, sorry, sorry, type, uh, um, sorry, yeah. Since 1 plus i is uh, raised to 2 times 1 plus i raised to 3 is equal to 1 plus i raised to 5. So we can perform, we can perform now calculations, which is negative 4 minus 4i. That is the answer, negative 4 minus 4i. Then, next. Now, another, another equation, a basic uh, equation for uh, another a basic equation te for calculator techniques is its limit. And then, after that, we have only to put to input the equation itself. Say so x squared, x cubed rather, x cubed minus 2x plus 9 over 2 x cubed minus 8. After that, we have to press calc. We have to press calc. Then now, since it is uh, reaching infinity, all we have to do is to type multiple value of 9, which is infinity. Then the answer is 1 half. Next. For the last problem, uh, we have also a limit, which now it's an approach. So we have only to type again the equation minus 1 x squared plus 3x, sorry, plus 3x minus 4. So we have to press only calc. Since this approach is to 1, we need to have a certain value that it that when we input on the calculator it is approaches to one and that approaches to one is a zero zero point nine 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 which is approaches to one and then your answer is two over three and thank you for watching